Hello, in this tutorial I was going to show you how to calculate a student's exit date or end date uh, using an Excel document. Here you can see I've created a little spreadsheet where I can keep track of all the students in my class. Uh, what I've done is I've went ahead and in this first row created my title bar area and in it I've done first name, last name, uh, enter date, counselor, course, uh, whether or not they're special ed, the school they're attending, the amount of days they're going to be in the course, and then of course the end date. Uh, I had this set up this way because that way whenever we get our course enrollment and course assignment emails in our Outlook, uh, I could just go ahead and copy and paste the information straight from the email into my spreadsheet. Uh, if you're interested in doing a spreadsheet like this, I'll go ahead and save a blank template of the spreadsheet I'm using now on our blog website, uh, pinnacleeducation.wordpress.com. So let's go ahead and see how we calculate our end date. First, you're going to want to enter the student's enter dates in the enter date column. And then once you know their enter date, Go ahead and select the enter dates and then right click. Then you'll go to format cells. And then when this box comes up, you're going to want to select which format you want the date to look like. For me, I'm just going ahead to leave it as is with month, day, and year. And then if you do that, go ahead and click OK. And then once you do that, to go ahead and calculate their enter date, put in the amount of days that you're going to be in the course. Uh, for our site classes, 42 days is the amount of days that they're going to be in our site versions. So uh, go ahead and input 42 in the 42 days. And then if you have more than one student that you need to calculate the enter date for, or the end date, just go ahead and at the bottom right hand corner, of your cell, you'll see a little box. When you see your cursor turn to the black cross, go ahead and click and drag it down to the next spreadsheet or the next cell and it'll go ahead and populate whatever your uh, format or numbers are in the previous cell. This will just save you some time in case you're going to use multiple cells at once. And then here in the end date column, to figure out the end date, what you're going to do is type in a formula in that cell. And what we're going to type is, you're going to hit the equal sign, and then you want to enter the number for the cell in which your enter date is. So for this example, we're going to do John Doe, and his cell is the D2 cell. There you can see how it is uh, highlighted there in the yellow box. So what we're going to do, after we type in equals, go ahead and hit plus, and then the cell, which is D2, and then you want to get the sum of the amount of days that the student is going to be in the course. So since our days are in the K2 cell, go ahead and click on that, and as you can see, it's already added it into the formula. If it doesn't, you're going to want to hit plus again after the D2, and then that will be K2, which is the cell in which our days are at. And once that is done, you'll go ahead and hit enter. And there you can see it adds the enter date in there for you. And then if you can see here, we have another student who we want to try and find the enter date for. Here you can see it's 1.2209, and since we've already done the formula in the cell above, instead of typing it in again, we can just go ahead and add it by clicking down and adding the cell down below. And there you have it. Uh, you now have found the enter date for two students, and uh, if you do have any problems, just let me know.